My so. name is Kate Bornstein, and I know I'm being videotaped, and that's okay by me. If you were to pick one adjective to describe your entire life, what would it be? <laughs> Scary. Scary. Okay. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I've, I've got all kinds of issues. I, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm out about my mental health stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, I live with PTSD and borderline personality disorder. I go into fear very easily. When I started talking about this gender stuff, I made art out of it. And when I saw the reactions of audiences, I mean, sometimes literally they threw rotten food at me. Literally, I swear. Um, but more people came up and said thank you. And I thought to myself, okay, maybe I'm being of service here. And to me, a life of service is the highest life I could possibly lead. And so when I found out that talking about this stuff was actually a service, I thought, great. How do you feel about the legal system, about laws and about rules? I think that if we did away with laws, people would do the right thing. What is the best advice you can give summed up in about a sentence? I'd say do whatever it takes to make your life more worth living. Anything at all. Stay alive. Do whatever it takes to make yourself a life worth staying alive. That's all I've done. It can be illegal. It can be immoral. It can be unethical. It can be self-destructive. Anything you need to do, do it. Please. Only one rule you need to make that work, and that's don't be mean. I think I'm most proud of accomplishing a, a foothold for teens, freaks, and other outlaws to stay alive. I wrote a book called Hello, Cruel World. Mm -hmm. and I think I'm, prou I'm proud of all the books I wrote, but that one, I think, kept more people alive. Not, I'm proud of that. Do you consider yourself a quote-unquote good person? No, I don't consider myself a good person. Dictionary definition of gender as a system of classification by any of a great number of arcane standards. Um, a sphere of regulation, cultural regulation, pretending to be a binary of male and female. Do we need it? Sure. Absolutely. The, why not? It can be fun. Gender can be a very, very fun thing. It's, it's great. You can be pretty, you can be handsome, you can flirt. There's all kinds of great things you can do with gender. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Um, should we have it? Probably not. We're probably going to have to get rid of it along with all the others. You know, when the big day of reckoning comes and we, whatever our definition of God might be, uh, and I'm an atheist, uh, but there's something great out there, there's something big, there's something good, I call it the great big good. And I think at some point, we're all going to have to reconcile with that, and on that day, gender's going to disappear. Angels don't have gender.